Welcome back guys and in this video I will show you how you can connect your Android project or Android application in, with Firebase okay so uh, let's open up your uh, Android studio and create a new project as you can see here I have already created a new project and when you are creating a new project so you have to select the Kotlin language as you can see here this is the Kotlin programming language okay uh, after creating your Android project uh, you need to open your browser and simply type Firebase console okay Firebase console and open this first one and uh, if you are uh, not logged in already so you have to log in with your uh, gmail okay with your using your email and uh, if you don't have any project here like this so you need to create add a project uh, uh, create a new project so let me show you how you can create a new project I will just simply name it Firebase real time real time real time Kotlin okay and uh, I will simply click on continue and uh, again click on continue select account so I will select this default account for Firebase okay uh, create project okay click on continue and as you can see here our project is open now and here we need to add uh, application so select Android from here and here we need to add uh, all these uh, required things so this is the Android package name so uh, open your Android project again and go to your build.gretel the second one okay and here is the application ID so you need to copy this app ID or application ID and open your browser again and paste it here and here uh, type the name uh, which you want to give to your application so from this name you will identify your application in Firebase project so this is uh, also option if you want to uh, uh, leave it uh, empty so it won't be a problem so click on this register app and uh, after this we need to download this configuration file and as you can see here we need to add this configuration file in our uh, Android project so click on download okay it will download this file to your PC and I will just go to this uh, location and I will simply copy this one okay and open your Android project again and uh, change it to project from uh, Android and here you need to open this app uh, directory and simply paste it here and uh, if you want to rename it so I will just simply remove this one and I will click OK and now our configuration file is added okay so we will close it and we will go back to the browser and click on next so here we need to add the Android uh, uh, Firebase SDK so uh, I need to copy all these uh, from here build script okay uh, I will show you why I am copying this so uh, we will uh, back to the Android and now you need to open this first one Gradle file and as you can see here uh, this is uh, due to some updates in Android Studio so here uh, we, we we didn't see the build script so we need to copy all these uh, build sc script from there and we will uh, paste it here above this plugins okay so we will paste it here and as you can see here we have pasted it and now we need to sync our project but we need to add some more dependencies so go back to your uh, browser and uh, here uh, you need to copy this apply plugin so i will just simply uh, copy it from here and i will open the android project again and go to the build button and i will add it here i will simply type id and i will paste it here and i have to uh, remove this apply plugin okay so now i will uh, scroll down and here we need to copy this one okay and uh, i will paste it here okay and also if i open it so this is the analytics so we don't need to add this uh, instead of this we will add the firebase real-time database dependency so search for firebase real-time database and open this one okay firebase real-time database and uh, click on android setup okay and scroll down and as you can see here uh, we have already added this okay and uh, we need to add this one okay so this is for Kotlin if you are using with Java so you can uh, switch to Java so I will add this one for Kotlin so just simply copy this open your Android project and paste it here now I will click on sync
okay our project is synced now and we will check if uh, we have uh, integrated the firebase data database correctly or not so to check it uh, simply create a variable well uh, simply name it firebase and we will add the type of database database reference database reference okay so as you can see here aggregator must be initialized okay um, I will just simply add it here so edit here is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference okay so it means uh, that we have integrated the firebase uh, dependencies correctly in our project okay so in the next video i will show you how you can insert data in firebase real-time database so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also if you are new to my channel please uh, subscribe to my channel and also uh, click on the bell notification option so you won't miss the upcoming videos